Let's look at what kind of energies we can expect to prevail this coming week from Feb 4 through Feb 10, 2018. It seems like finally all the heavy energy from the eclipse is clearing up though we can't quite relax just as yet since there is a solar eclipse coming up in a week and a half. I have made a video on special traditions and rituals called Sutak which if followed really helps during a solar eclipse. So in case you have not checked out that video already, then do make it a point to see it. I have provided the link below in description box. So coming to this week's energy forecast. The key theme for this week is learn to stay calm and centered in the midst of shocking events. We know that in life things don't always go smooth. We meet startling events which seem to shake us. And it is not like these events need to happen to us directly or even individually. When we see shocking events happening around us, it could be in our immediate surroundings or out in the world, it is but natural, just human, to feel some anxiety and feel rattled up a bit. But as people who are on a conscious living path, when we carefully consider these events, we realize that what we really feel is fear and anxiety about our own future. Subconsciously and sometimes even consciously, we wonder, what if such a thing was to happen to me or to the people I love? What if, what if, and such thinking makes us feel fearful and anxious. And sadly, given the mass fear instigating news, that we are all subjected to, it is even more easy to feel swayed by the wave of such unsettling events. Yes, there is much bad happening in the world, but at the same time, there is also a lot of good that is happening. The good news does not sell and media folks are trying to up their profits, so we typically end up getting all kinds of scary information that is made to sound many a times a lot worse than it really is. And also keep in mind that we typically think of shock as only something bad happening. That is not so. We can also be shocked by happy events. Shock can be caused by anything unexpected. But what can be done about it? After all, unexpected is the nature of nature. No one knows what the future will bring us with 100% accuracy. And what happens is, when we hear something challenging, the typical tendency is to worry. And that becomes more of an issue than whatever the unexpected challenges were bringing in the first place. Also at times you can feel shocked by simply realizing how close you were to danger. So even if you're not in harm's way anymore, just knowing that you could have been harmed can be very disturbing. The reason for these weekly readings is for this very purpose. When we can sense the energy surrounding certain days, then we can better prepare ourselves, take extra caution, and more than anything else, be aware of our own reaction to situations. And we need to observe our reaction and response not just to things we are involved in, but also situations and events we hear about from people or in the media. Listen and observe your feelings and response. Ultimately, this is what conscious living is about, to be aware of one's own action as well as one's reaction to people, situation and events. And in case you feel ruffled by whatever is happening to or around you, then learn to calm your mind and the clamoring of worry, fear, anxiety, which is typical human response to challenging news. And once you center yourself through prayers, meditation, and simply surrendering to the divine, you realize the peace that has always been within you. It is just that typically this peace gets hidden beneath the weight of our turbulent thoughts. So basically, try to center yourself more this week so you can feel at peace 
and this in and of itself will allow you to take the best decisions and actions in whatever life is going to bring to you and around you this week. Now the meditation image for this week. Think of a boat caught in stormy waters. Sure, that guy could have better checked the weather forecast and so on, but once he is in the waters, and if there happens to be an unexpected storm, there is nothing much that he can do about it. But yes, there is so much he can do by keeping his wits and steering and navigating the best he can to ensure he stays afloat and is out of harm's way. And once the storm subsides, then the boat can continue to sail smoothly once again, reaching the shore, its destination. And so it is with each one of us. Learning to weather the storms of life is a very essential skill that is very important to master to truly live a complete, fulfilling life. As always, I have this meditation image posted on the website mytreeparadigm.com. I hope we all have a fantastic week ahead. Do check out our health and wellness books which will help you on your path to living a more conscious and aware life. Links for the website, books and also about the solar eclipse related videos are in the description box below. Speak to you more next week. Hi, I'm Maitri Gautam and thank you for listening. Do remember to like and subscribe. And let us know in the comments below if there is a particular topic you would like us to cover.